11 off 11. <laughs> the race is not for the swift, but who shall endure to the end? Darren Sammy with his with yellow his storm, very philosophical from Darren Sammy. Here we come. Beware. The Zalmi on their way. Well, it was a great effort today from them, and you're, you're quite right, Darren. Yesterday, Cameron Akmal with that 75, and Darren Sammy himself for that fantastic 36 of what 15 balls, I think it was, uh, on one leg. He'd be pretty handy on two. But uh, he's not 100% fit, and he said it's going to take him a few weeks yet to be fully fit on that right leg. This is the last over now for Shadab Khan. It's a much better feel. You've got a slip and a leg slip with Misbah coming in at short mid-wicket catching area. They needed this long time back. Aggression. Karachi, 20 runs away in fact from qualifying. 36 runs to win. But 20 runs to qualify, that will give them that, that uh, playoff position. Yeah, because it will improve their net run rate. Now there's Imad Rasim there between Azam Mahmood and uh, Shahid Afridi. Uh, well, Shahid Afridi, a couple of catches there and fantastic little bowling spell as well where he accounted for uh, Mizbah. And there was a muted celebration out of respect. Enjoyed that little moment. Yeah, very similar to Shine Afridi's uh, sort of abbreviated celebrations. He, when, he he out, shy, when he got Shine, when he got Shahid Afridi, he pulled out of that big leap and a and a puffing fist. Oh. Well, that would have been close. It would have. Chadwick Walton cheeky. Getting in the quick throw. It was a nice pick up. That's been just ambling. Might have been close if there was a direct hit. Ingram. 12 of 17, two boundaries. Partnership of 18 of 23 between these two. so close to that leg stump end of the over 13 gone 90 for three Karachi need 35 to win the match from 42 balls but of course they uh, will be fine once they've reached 109 I'm sure that's not lost on Dean Jones that's uh, because of the run rate the net run rate that they're they're compared with with uh, Multan Sultans. Yeah, well, it, the pages of his red book it, it trending surely are. Wonderful drawing by Dean Jones. Yeah, in case you're wondering what he uh, what he puts down in that book, we'll give you a, a, a secret look into his wonderful artwork bad plus ball is equal to six yeah i mean this is this is picasso at work is that modern day coaching and strategic planning for cricket <laughs> got him he, he got loves him it. Got it. Him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah nothing <laughs> Nothing. Get on it, Dean Jones. Got him. Got him. Come on. <laughs> yeah, he might not bring that book again. Danny's got a little black book. <laughs> The 32 required. Mickey Arthur. Oh. 
left his books in uh, in the classroom. Yeah, he will have a couple things to think about. Maybe the catching from his team, Mikiata. Yes. But the bowling from Karachi Kings, it was spot on. Even the batting looking good, 95 for three at the moment. 30 required from 38. That's a one area, Alan, that he may want to improve on before that match on Sunday if they go on to win. Yeah, absolutely. We've seen, uh, I think we've seen half a dozen catches spilled today. Colin Ingram's had a, a fair stay at the crease here. 21 balls for his 14. He's been short of runs. Yes! He's dragged this one leg side. And it, would you believe it's yet another catch? It's Fahim Ashraf who drops it this time. 96 for three. 96 for three. And we'll have the go, go, loop, low. Strategic time. With uh, it's going to be Steve Finn back into the attack. One for thirteen in two overs. And Karachi need twenty-nine of thirty-six balls. If they win this match, there's going to be a repeat of this match on Sunday night in Dubai. It's going to be these two again in the first playoff match. And let's repeat, whoever wins that on Sunday will have all week to prepare for the final on the following Sunday in Karachi. And the loser has a second bite to the cherry. They will play the winner of the team that finishes third and fourth in the second eliminator. Just a little inquisitive whether Islamabad should have played their regular 11 they've risked their, their four players today including Luke Ronke but losing just before their all-important playoff game is not going to work in their favor so it's a it's a tough call you'd want to use the bench strength because it's an inconsequential game for them in a way but then if you were to play the same side you'd go out there in that playoff thinking you were better against them in that last match Denley was good, bashed them around. On his birthday, he played well. Ooh, watch out. I guess it's a double-edged sword. If you lose, yes, there are questions about the confidence, the momentum. But again, you also given an opportunity to other players. So as a mature team, and this is a mature Islamabad United team, before this game five wins in a row sometimes you can get jaded you can get burnt out as a team so maybe they're thinking that this break for some of their players who are carrying little niggles they just rejuvenate them enough for that of match on Sunday Miss Baal Haq didn't get a chance to bat in previous matches had an opportunity so he's better off as a player with the opportunity to bat although he didn't score much yeah, so if they'd won today against Karachi, Karachi would have been out of the competition and they would have played Zalmi in the first playoff. Now that was the other thing for them to make note of. Whether they would have been better off playing Zalmi or whether they're happy playing Karachi Kings. Summit Patel has uh, sat this one out tonight. But he'll most certainly play in the next one, in the playoff. Yeah, it's always a, a moot point, isn't it? Whether you want to keep going with the, with the team that's winning, or you say, right, okay, let's give some of the bench strength a, an outing. Darren, where are you on this one? I guess it's about playing your best cricket every time. 
you know you can't really pick and choose who you're going to play if you want to win a championship you must be prepared to beat every single opposition and that would be my sort of mentality I think it's a it's a wake up call for Miss Paul Huck also as a batsman. He didn't look uh, comfortable at all, and so in a playoff scenario, if he's asked to bat, it's not going to help Islamabad's cause because he looked rusty, he looked out of out of rhythm. He's getting on a bit now, 44 in the next three months or so. Shot, really good shot. Colin Ingram, and he brings up the hundred for Karachi Kings. Home for Karachi. Nice and simple, nothing outrageous. Get the job done, and we'll see you, see you on Sunday. Islamabad United, and they'll say, "I see you, see you too," because they're going to be meeting each other again. But I, I agree, you don't want to. You don't just want to have a little waver and lose two or three wickets and crawl across the line. Do it with authority. Take that authority to the next game, which is all important. The winner going straight to the final. Hearing you, do it with a swagger and do it quickly. Yeah, big incentive, isn't it? For those in blue, go straight to Karachi. You're in the final. That's what everyone's wanting, and that's what... Uh, Simon Iqbal was saying to uh, Zainab, sideline. They've not seen massive, exciting, big game of cricket for a long, long time. We're talking, what, 2008, 2009 season. Yeah, and we go to Karachi, I think. It'll be jam-packed. And people trying to get in from everywhere. Yeah, this man wants to go to Karachi in the final. He's got a few tickets up his sleeve too. He'll be getting harassed to the max. Well, had a few drops and understandably so. It's, the catching's been brilliant in this tournament, but the due factor can take over. Well, not now. No, oh, not no. at this stage. Of <laughs> no, but there's some tough chances. That was a brilliant effort. So I, I think he just got his hands wrong there. That went a million miles in the air made a bit of a meal of it but they can be tricky and I think you've got to put a, a, a degree of difficulty on all these and assess whether oh, was that should have been taken you know there are a couple of I don't care if the ball's wet in any of those last three you're taking them but the initial ones they're really tough weren't they you're going about no ceiling there's not a cloud in the sky when it was the afternoon game but they were swirling and yeah Difficult for fielders to make ground, run back over your head, look up. It's uh, never easy, those, with a clear blue sky and a white ball. And Ingram says, I'll have a piece of this one. What a shot that is. And Karachi Kings have qualified for the playoffs. But what a shot to do it with on the back foot stood tall and with a vertical bat hits it over mid wicket that is some shot i like this guy he's missed out a couple of times he's the sort of player though that i can see winning a final for the kings so it's a case of these are important runs just like Denley being out there for 30 odd runs at the start that was an important innings for him running into the playoff on Sunday so 14 runs required they now qualify they're now pushing for number two and the man we love Tom Moody and his team Multan officially on a plane they're out it's an old saying up here behind the sorry mic. moods not good enough well they were at the start weren't they 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 really just yeah they just seven points after their first five and ended with nine so look i think the whole unit will take responsibility for not playing better
but um, we knew Lahore was out a while ago and now confirmed that Multan Sultan's first year in the, the PSL are not going to go to the top four so feeling for you big fella yeah after uh, first five games they were top seven points and they were the top of the tree they were the darlings of the tournament here's another darling Barbarazan a little bit of whippage to finish 16 it's 116 for three now it now and uh, it's going to be uh, mate uh, JP Germany have another one load up Colin Ingram it's, it's just funny how it works Dan you, you get within 20 wickets in hand and then all of a sudden it's good bang 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 game over and uh, it's all happening very quickly now well done to the Kings I mean they were the same as the Multan Sultans they got off to a flyer if you remember and then everything halted for them and then they had a few days without a game and momentum lost I know we use momentum all the time in sport but it's 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 real you roll with it and if you lose it it'll hurt you and it's come down to this game for them to qualify and who would have thought for both those sides one's out one's well they'll finish second but been hard racing now and uh, collected tidied up but still knock off another two so just one shot required will it be finished in a maximum yeah within six of that first playoff who bites off the cherry flat <laughs> is that the cherry cherry or the peach cherry <laughs> Ah, oh, Bazard Khan. Love you to bits and pieces. I love that fruit too. Daddy, first two PSLs, these four teams did qualify for the playoffs. Remember, there were only five in the first two, so Lahore missed out. Islamabad, Karachi, Peshawar, Quetta, they got in the playoffs in the first two seasons this time again the same four with Lahore and Multan missing out Felt for a second he was tempted there to launch. But, uh, gently Bentley. Ingram, 31. And uh, 25 now for Barber, who's on strike. One again on the 17th. And qualification that'll please Mickey Arthur, no doubt. Big franchise, big city. And the finals there. That is that. Karachi went by seven, and it took them 17 overs to get there, and a very, very happy camp for those in blue and red.